Alabama and Nick Saban. This is a dynasty, what he's created in Tuscaloosa in the Alabama program that makes them the bar in college football. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back to talk about Kirby Smart and uh, how he has became the highest paid coach in college football. And my question to you all who's watching this video, uh, do y'all think Kirby Smart deserves to be the highest paid coach in college football? Uh, I, I, I ain't going to give you my else. <laughs> not, not yet. I'll give it to you at the end of this video. But anyway, uh, Kirby Smart, he's got a 10-year extension on his con contract, and he will be making um, $110 million throughout this contract, which makes him the highest paid coach in college football. Uh, he will be making, I think, 10 10 and a quarter million, 10.25 million uh, this year in 2022. The contract is through uh, 2031, and he'll be getting raises, you know, throughout the years. Plus, he'll be getting a whole bunch of incentives. But the last year of the contract, 2031, he'll make 12.25 million. Now, I remind you, the highest, some of the highest paid coaches in college football, you know, right now uh, was uh, Nick Saban, Jimbo Fisher, Ryan Day, Mel Tucker, now Brian Kelly, he's came to the SEC, so, and they was making uh, uh, at least, uh, well, $9 million a year. So, Kirby Smart to some past them guys, so, but uh, now, for y'all answer, you know, whether he, he deserve it. Remember, he is coming off a uh, national championship season. And he did bring Georgia their first national championship in 40 years. He has constantly been to the SEC championship. Okay? So he has been to the national championship twice and all this in six years. But I might remind you, he has been to the SEC championship four times uh, in these six years. And he's lost all of them except one. He went to the SEC championship in 2017 and he won. He went in 18 and lost. He went in 19 and lost. And he went in 2021 and lost. 18, he lost to Alabama. 19, he lost to LSU. And uh, 2021, he lost to uh, Alabama. So, uh, hey, it is what it is, man. You know, you ain't let the, let the, let at least let the record have some effect in your damn answer. And, and he went to the national championship twice, 1-1. 2017 against Bama, he lost. 2021 last year <clears throat> against Alabama, he won. So, and the guy in his first six years got a 66-15 and 15 record. All right, so it is what it is, man. Hey, now, he is a very good coach, and he deserves to get paid a lot of money. But does he... Uh, deserve to be the highest paid coach in college football. All right. And uh, I just want to, you already know I got to do it. Uh, I want to bring up some old St. Nick's numbers. All right. St. Nick or the great Nick Saban, his first six years at Alabama, he went 68 and 13. Now that's a better record than, uh, Curve Smart in the in the first six years between us. All right. In his first six years at Alabama, Nick Saban won three national championships and three SEC championships. All right. Just going, that's the first six years. All right. Let's go to the last six years. This man that won three national championships in his last six years. I believe, yeah, no, not last six years, but uh, let me see. Let's go to the one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, last six years, he has won two national, two national championships. All right, and he's been to five national championships. Now, if you want to go to the last seven years, 2015, he has won three national championships and lost three national championships. So in a span of seven years, he'd have been to seven national championships. Yeah. So 
one, two, three, four, five, six. In the span of seven years, he'd have been in six national championships. Okay, one, three, lost three. 2019, he didn't make it. All right? So that's just the last seven years, but six, he done won two and lost three. Now, this man went to the national championship game four years in a row, 15, 16, 17, 18. He missed 19, and then he went 20 and 21. All those are national championship years, okay? That, 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 that's a damn lot, man. Since 2000 and, well, his first six years, he lost 13 games. His last nine years as a football coach, he has only lost 12 games. 12 games in nine years. That is crazy. No other coach will be able to do that. So, it's crazy. This man, the great Nick Saban, has been to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine national championship games while he he been at Alabama. Won six, lost three. That is fucking crazy. All right. So in 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 that aspect, there's no comparison between Kirby and Nick as far as that. But I can understand. I can understand why Georgia, the Georgia administration, AD and all that, that went head over heels. You know, they done went slap ass crazy because they done won this national championship. Remind you, over Nick Saban. They done won the national championship over Nick Saban. So, what else they was going to do? It's, it's been it's been put out that Kirby had and, uh, got a new contract, but the detail details just came out today. But uh, like I say, Kirby Smart, he's a hell of a head coach. You know, a lot of coordinators get these head coaching jobs and it just don't pan out for them. But Kirby, he's a hell of a head coach. He didn't, took advantage of the situation down there at Georgia. He, he constantly getting them to the SEC championship. He done went to two national championships. He's he got a great athlete. He's developing them boys down there. So, it is what it is, man. And it seems like, to me, Kirby Smart is the only coach that can uh, give Nick Saban a run for his money on a, on a consistent basis. So, because it's a... They play Alabama tough every fucking time. Except for one time when we played them. That was in the regular season. But every other time, they done played them tough. And they finally got one on them. And that damn alum, alumni, the administration, and the fan base has went slap ass crazy. But, once again, I pose the question. Do Kirby Smart deserve to be the highest paid coach? in college football? And my answer to that is, hell no. Hell no. You know why? All that out of name Curry Smart and did, he still haven't done enough to be the highest paid coach in college football. All right? If you ain't, if 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 you ain't did half the shit the great one that did, hell no. The great one, like I said, won three national championships in his first years and three SEC championships. Okay? Curtis Moore, you done been the four, but you ain't won but one SEC championship. You done been the two national championships. Granted, you won one. All right? But still, you ain't no in the hell you deserve to be the highest paid coach in college football. And I done gave you the reasons why I done spit out the goddamn numbers. But congratulations to Kirby Smart. He, he, he's the highest paid coach, but he don't deserve it. Now, uh, that seven, eight, nine million mark per year, maybe. More like the eight million dollar mark. But 10, hell no. 110 million dollars in 10 years, hell no. Hell no. That's the great ones now, man. You can bet your bottom dollar. That shit gonna be short lived. Cause you know that AD at Alabama. 
he going to make sure the great one, the great Nick Saban, St. Nick, is well compensated. Roll damn tide.